As masks become part of our daily attire, you may be wondering which is the best material to use to ensure your safety and comfort. Researchers at UBC have done the testing, and as CTV's Allison Hurst reports, you may be surprised to learn how easy it is to find what you need right at home. Masks come in all shapes, sizes, and materials, but each one is not necessarily as good as the next. We ended up testing 41 different types of materials that you could potentially use for such masks. Including materials found in your own home. This one turned out to be one of the very best fabrics we tested. It was from my wife's figure skating costume when she was a kid. Comparing those and commercial non-medical masks to N95. We place the material in a test jig that seals around the sample. Flow and airstream through the material containing particles like fine dried droplets from an ordinary table salt solution. The difference in concentration tells us what's been removed by the filter. And the difference in pressure at either end shows if it's breathable. You want something that's breathable, removes particles, and is comfortable. Especially as masks become mandatory on transit, on ferries, and in certain grocery stores. While nothing Professor Stephen Rojak tested came close to the N95 filtration system. Dried baby wipes um, have a structure which is actually closer to um, these N95 masks. Pair that with cotton inner and outer layers, and that's Rojak's number one pick. As for the store-bought non-medical masks, better materials, he says, than homemade options. But this kind of masks fits terribly. And fit you know, you, is vital. You see some people wearing masks, they inhale. And, and you can see that they're only breathing through a small area of the uh, mask material. And, and so that's going to increase the pressure drop many times compared to a mask that has a bit of a pocket. So he recommends the N95 style cone shape to keep you and those around you safe. Alison Hurst, CTV News, Vancouver.